Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your guy, Beduri, right here. How y'all doing? Welcome to BTS Podcast. And today we're going to talk about child support. Yes, you heard me right. We're going to discuss child support, especially if you are an immigrant who lives in the United States. I believe you know what child support is all about already. But what we have don't know is the problems and issues associated with child support. Parents are going through a lot. You know, nowadays that you have baby daddy, baby mama, and all those drama coming up, people are actually having a lot of issues that bothers them as far as child support payment is concerned. And the issue goes beyond just the child. Sometimes it goes as much as affecting the mom or the dad at work because You know, when you are paying child support, you work a lot. Ask anyone around who's paying child support, they're going to testify to this. You have to work more so you can have extra money to take care of you and some other needs that, that need to be attended to. And as a result of that, parents often don't pay a lot of attention to their kids. And this often leads to bigger issues between both parents. Now, I don't think I'm in the right position to explain this, but I'm going to play a video for you right now. Just listen to him. The guy's name is Derek. He's very vast and he really understand how this child support game went down every time. Listen to him. You know, you always got one girl who's trying to come up off the dude. She want to splurge all the money on her and not spend it on their child. So they need to do something about that. They need to hold her accountable. And I agree. I don't think that represents most child support situations. But yes, that is a problem. Another one is that, you know, sometimes a dude legitimately cannot pay his child support payments. He may lose his job or something like that. They may change his hours or whatever. And he shouldn't have to go to jail, whereas he can't pay. And then it's going to be harder for him to get a job afterwards. I agree. That, that's an issue. Again, I don't think that represents most situations, but okay, cool. We do need to fix that. But the problem I think needs to be fixed that nobody's talking about is the fact that child support as it currently is doesn't account for the other contributions that the primary guardian has to give. Most times that's the mom. You know, it, it goes further than just financials. It goes further than just a couple of dollars garnished out her check. Really ain't even garnished. All her money is subjective to whatever the child may need as opposed to the dude who has a ceiling. But I'm talking about, you know, when that mother has to get woken up in the middle of the night because the child is scared or they have nightmares or they heard something go bump in the night and they come knocking on her door, waking her up and she has to soothe that child until he or she can go back to sleep. The dad should have to get woken up to. That's one problem. Child support don't account for that. He should have to get woken up to. He should have to go to work the next day, sleepy with bags under his eyes, cranky, moving slow, not being able to focus, just like that mom should. You know, that mom getting called home from work every other week because the child been acting out, getting into it with their friends or, or, or them talking back to the teacher, probably because they ain't getting that much attention at home because the mom always has to work or they holding some kind of resentment because they feel unwanted. When that mom has to get called home from work, the dude, the dad, he should have to get called home from work too. He should have to explain to his boss the same way the mom does, why he get, keeps missing work. He should have to walk on eggshells in every situation, even whenever he's in the right with other uh, employees. He should have to bite his tongue even when he shouldn't have to normally because he's already missed too much time from work. That's a price that should also be contributed to by the dad. You know, when the mom wants to go and have a couple of drinks with her co-workers, when the mom wants to hang out on the weekend, when the mom wants to go on a date, it shouldn't just be her having to find the babysitter. He should have to help with that. They need to trade out on that. And if the babysitter call in and the mom has to stay home from work or something like that, he should have to stay as, as his ass home too. There's no reason why he should be able to go out, still getting new pussy and hanging out with different girls and doing this, that, and the other. And she has to pay that price and go months sometimes without being able to go out and have a good time because she can't find a trustworthy babysitter that's available and within her budget. You know, y'all really lucky they don't have a way to put stretch marks on y'all body, whereas y'all didn't have them before. Because y'all really be in trouble. I definitely would add that in, but I know it's impossible. But if we really want to be serious, man, I, I honestly believe this. I think they need to find a way to make it mandatory where the dad has to explain why he hasn't shown up, why he hasn't called, why he hasn't FaceTimed his baby, why he hasn't asked about the child's day or what they learned in school, why with his actions, he hasn't communicated that he loves that child instead of the mom having to explain that. That's one of the hardest things in the world for a woman to do, to be doing her absolute best, giving everything that she got, sacrificing whatever it takes 
and still on top of that have to look her baby in the eye and come up with some kind of explanation that doesn't break her child's heart, but it doesn't lie to her child about why the dad hasn't come around or, or called to check up on her or anything. When that child has to see their classmates, their cousins, their friends getting loved on by their dad, they see loving dads that want their children and they know they don't have that. That's one thing that the dad should have to explain. That's what I think is wrong with child support. Y'all let me know what you think. <laughs> Holla at y'all later. Peace. Hmm. Thank you, Derek. Now, if you ask me, I would say, please don't have a child if you're not willing or ready to be married and stay married. I'm just being honest. Don't have a child if you are not going to get married and stay together. There's, there's so much to unpack here, but for the purpose of this video, just to answer the question, what is wrong with child support, I'm going to leave it right here. In next video, I will explain what I think Africans should do if they find themselves in a child support situation. Now, if you are watching this for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. Um, give us a thumbs up. That helps with the algorithm. And please share with friends. We love you. I still remain yours one and only. Thank you. Bye.